What's going on, my kids? Today's EH Paper Retail Fox Box. They come back at you with a brand new episode of SimCity 4 Foxwell. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building some of the um, first parts of the industrial district, actually, in the city of Foxwell. This is mainly so I can start the simulation ahead of episode 10, obviously. So this is kind of like the main reason why I'm building the nuclear power plant and, you know, stuff like that. Try to get the last utilities in there so that we can start the simulation. Make my decision making a lot more dynamic because I know a lot of you guys are probably dying to see that actually happen. I mean, it's nine episodes in and we still have not properly started the simulation. And unfortunately, I don't really have any intentions of doing so today either. It's probably going to be a next week problem out here as we actually do start the simulation next week. But yeah, I figured, you know, 10th episode, pretty fitting point for us to actually start the simulation. But yeah, anyways, sit back, relax, enjoy the video because, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on. Now, obviously, the first thing I did was I added a couple more residential skyscrapers to the, um... I want to say ever-growing downtown area. I don't really want to say, like, you know, super massive downtown area or anything like that or anything like that because um, it really isn't. I have built downtown areas in this game that are, like, a lot larger. Like, if I were to build, like, a super massive downtown, it would have to take up, like, the entire tile. And obviously, I have no intentions of doing that because it's kind of our first city, so we kind of need a lot to, um, we need a lot to fall into place out here, too. So we're going to need a little bit of everything. And that's kind of why we're starting on the industrial park out here today. But anyways, right now we're currently working on some more of the um, areas around the highway because, you know, the highway is going to make a perfect area to separate the industrial and the um, commercial, or not the commercial, the downtown area. Partially because no one's going to really dare walk across the highway anyway, unless they happen to be an urbanist like me. But again, no one's going to dare try it out here unless they really, really, really didn't want to use a car to get to work. But then again, you also have like a lot of mass transit options. As I said, you know, you got rail, you got bus out here or bussy as I like to call them. Like, listen, I'm a pan furry fanboy. What do you expect me to call it other than the bussy system out here? But yeah, it, it definitely does look pretty nice. We also got like a ramp off the highway. This actually did take a lot of work to try to build, unfortunately, because this ramp I don't know why, it just was not cooperating for some reason. It did take a few attempts to finally get there, and I had to use the NAM eraser tool so that I wouldn't lose the majority of the interchange, and finally, after fighting it for a while, it, it ended up working. I also just realized I made a pretty big mistake out here too, so I'm gonna have to fix that in the next episode. Wanna know the mistake I made? I forgot the tolls, so we're gonna have to fix that. So that's gonna be fun to deal with. That's alright though, I have a generally good idea of how I'm gonna pull that off anyway, so. I shouldn't be too mad at myself out here too, but I actually did briefly forget that this was supposed to be a toll road, and do forgive me because it's been a minute since I've actually properly recorded an episode of this. Yeah, past few episodes I've been dropping out are kind of like, you know, pre-recorded out here, so I do want to point that out as well. So yeah, probably going to get in there and fix that ahead of the um, AM stream for Sunday because Operation Snowbird, by the time you're watching this, should be in full swing out here. So that is definitely going to be fun out here. By the time we're seeing it, though, we're actually seeing kind of like the full effects of it out here. We'll know whether or not the Postal 2 stream needed to be moved over to Patreon or not. Which, by the way, if it did and you do want to rewatch it, go ahead and like get yourself a membership over there. Because it is definitely a great way to support the channel. You should have already had a reminder to do that by now. Because usually I've been, I've been putting in a lot at the three minute mark. Because, you know kind of going to need all the help I can get to getting out of the situation I'm in. I think I've talked about it in past community posts out here, and things are definitely starting to go pretty well out here too, but obviously when things start to go well, you're going to have people, as I mentioned in the previous episode of Port St. Glacy, who are going to want to take it away from you, and usually it's for their own selfish reasons out here, but I'm not going to talk about that too much out here. Right now, let's just admire this nuclear power plant. We are harnessing the power of the sun today, everybody. That's right, we're harnessing the power of the sun, and it is going to be a fun thing to do out here. Obviously, especially here, because, you know, this nuclear power plant, a lot of people actually are probably criticizing me for putting a nuclear power plant so close to downtown, especially since I'm surrounding it with levees, because, you know, flooding is going to be a pretty big issue in hurricanes, and obviously this is a very, like, in the backstory of our, of our sea, I should say, in the backstory of Avaracia, because I couldn't say that correctly first time, there, this area around Foxwell and, you know, Farian out here, I believe, are actually considered to be very highly seismically active zones. In fact, um, the barrier islands are fairly young pieces of land by geologic standards. They're only a few, 
I want to say like a few thousand years old out here. So yeah, this is going to be a very seismically active region as a lot of the islands and, you know, land in the area is still very much considered to be forming according to geologists out here. So yeah, you're going to have to worry about tsunamis too. And obviously this nuclear power plant, despite its pretty clear meltdown proof status, is actually preparing for it. So it is a nice thing to see. Obviously it's more meant to comfort the sims around the area because, you know, a lot of people are very afraid of nuclear power, even though it's actually really cheap and really clean as long as the right people are kind of like, you know, managing it. You're not going to have like a Chernobyl situation it, um, unless like, you know, people are mismanaging it. And obviously that's going to be your greatest threat. But there actually is a real nuclear power plant that is effectively, well, I don't want to say it's meltdown proof, but it is under construction in France and it's expected to be completed in the next 16 years. Of course, it's going to be the one country, the one major power, I should say, building this that happens to rely like 80% on nuclear energy, which honestly, that's probably the best thing to do for the environment. But basically, what it's what's being worked on over there is a nuclear power plant. It can melt down, but the kicker with anything melting down at this nuclear power plant that I'm thinking of right here is that the amount of emissions would be so small in the event of a meltdown that there wouldn't really be any need for an evacuation. Part of me likes to think that the nuclear power plants that I build in this game are kind of like that because, again, they can't melt down. The, the, like, the modder that made this literally said, like, I, okay, I'm going to put in a protection against this melting down, although they probably really did that because, and anyone who's ever played a sim game will probably tell you this, sims are stupid. That is one thing I will say in streams, that is one thing I will say here, sims are creatures that want nothing more than to die. They're, they basically got like this full on death wish out here, so yeah, you gotta give every protection possible. Honestly, I think you gotta give them more protections than you gotta give most people out here because again, they're sims. Okay, they, they, like, if you've ever seen a Greystill play Sims 4 video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Those Sims will go out of their way to off themselves for some reason, and I don't know why. And speaking of mistakes out here too, you saw me make one earlier with the toll road, and this one actually does get corrected in this episode. The other one's gonna have to be kind of like corrected off camera out here. But obviously, you can actually see me, like, you know, when I'm, like, adding in some of the security stations around the nuclear power plant and whatnot, I actually completely failed to take into account the canal over there. So, yeah, that definitely wasn't very good. Another thing I could have also done, and I probably still could do, is bring in a um, parking garage out here because I'm trying to encourage, like, you know, as I said, less car dependency. And one of the ways that I like to encourage that is putting commercial under the parking garages. It kind of makes the parking garages feel a lot more hidden, if you want, in my opinion, which I think is really nice. But anyways, we're starting to get to this rail out here, too. Starting to get to roughly the end of this episode out here. So, obviously, I'm going to start doing my sign-offs here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You get a reminder three minutes in. You're going to have another reminder coming up on the end screen. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. Have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you